Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how we will work with the method reference operator or double colon operator in Java 8. So basically I am going to start a class with the uh, method reference operator so where I will do various method reference operator operations. So basically method reference operator we can use for static method and also we can use for instance method also we can call constructors super constructors so we will show some of the scenarios here so yeah right now I just create a method here so basically what I am going to do is I should have a method then only I can show you how we can call a method using the method reference operator so So th this is a method reference operator. So I will create a method here, public void test method reference, and it will accept a string. Basically, that method reference operator will only do one thing. That's it's just print out that particular string into the console okay so here okay so our method is ready i will show you here by creating a static void main here itself Okay, so what I'm going to do is I need a stream. So basically, I can show you how we will use the method reference operator there. So basically, a stream of string. Stream of string examples. Okay, and here what I will do is stream off, and I will do first ten second. ten third, and so on. So basically, I finished that. <coughs> I know I'm going to call our test method reference. So uh, I will take this one stream. It's already stream. So for each, what I'm going to do here, I'm, I need to call this method. So how I will call that method? Since it is a instance method, I can call directly. If it is a static method, I can call directly from this static. So basically, uh, I am creating an instance, and here I'm just test method reference. Okay, this will work. So I am running this one. Yeah, here you can see it will take some time to run this program. So during that time, I will create another method that's a static in nature with static void. And I will make test static method reference. So I can show you that also right now. So first, second, third it's print like that okay then 
and I'm going for the next iteration where I am using this one the reference operator without an instance and I will use this one so the parameters will pass implicitly that's a uh, advantage of this okay something weird here anyway we can okay so it's working right now so I, I just created a static method and I call without any reference so um, we need to do yeah we need to show you I need to show you how you will use in a constructor so uh stay tuned for next video i will show you on next video that